Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you what's new and give a full review and tutorial of Adobe Audition CC 2019. So here we are, first of all, in the multi-track, the brand new multi-track of Adobe Audition CC 2019. Looking rather good. A new look and feel to the multi-track. Curvy edges here. New updated color scheme as well. More uh, in theme with the colors of the rainbow. Not only that, you can double click any of these colors here and select something different uh, to suit your particular track. So a really nice new color scheme. Not only that, you can flip through the hue here and really fine tune the color that you would like your track to be. So that's all available to you in the newly updated Adobe Audition CC 2019. Colors pop more. When you highlight here, you'll see the inverse color appears when you select a waveform. So that looks really, really good. If you select all by hitting Command or Control A, depending on your PC Mac, really good pop out colors there. So everything is standing out much easier to edit now in the multi-track of Adobe Audition using these new color schemes. Now, Occasionally, you will get a waveform uh, that's really quiet. Uh, look at that, that's a really quiet waveform. Uh, but down here, you'll see at the bottom left of every single waveform, you have a little icon, which is kind of like a volume bar. And if you click and drag this, you can drag this up to say 15 dB to increase the volume of your audio, increase the size of your waveform as well. What's more, this is non-destructive, so it won't affect your original waveform, which is fantastic and just unlike the last versions where you could only go to 15 dB, you can go all the way up to 96 dB if you want uh, of amplitude increase. Not that you'd really ever want to do that, uh, but it's it's there if you need it, uh, which is great. So let's get that amplitude increase to uh, a plus 15 dB. Looks really good and will sound really good in the multi-track as well. So just little hacks uh, to help you uh, get better quicker inside Adobe Audition's multi-track. You also got this uh, stretch as before. Uh, you got snapping as before, time stretching as before. You can do all this stuff really, really easily in Adobe Audition. Adding new tracks, well, we used to do that, the kind of manual way, multi-track, tracks, add new stereo track. Oh, I need another one, okay, multi-track, track, add new stereo track. Speed it up with Alt or Option A to add in those new tracks, but that's a bit boring. Now, you can go into tracks in the multi-track menu and you can add many tracks. Shift A to bring this up and you can say, I want 20 new audio tracks, I want two new bus tracks. Add, boom, done for you right there and then. But say you added too much and you're now confused and you're lost and even if you zoom out, oh, there's too much going on here. Well, don't worry. Multi-track tracks. Uh, delete selected track. You can do that, but you can delete empty tracks. Shift and E to do this. Boom. You're back to your original look there uh, just with the extra bus tracks, which, of course, you can just uh, go and get rid of them. Delete selected track like that to get rid of those extra buses and you've got rid of the extra buses as well. So really cool uh, for removing any tracks that you're not actually using in Adobe Audition's multi-track. Uh, so I'm gonna add in now a new stereo track down here. I'm gonna call this voiceover, and I'm gonna show you exactly how cool it is now recording into a track. Gonna solo this track, arming it for record, of course, and I'm starting to record. Now, what you'll notice here is, well, first of all, the red is popping out more when I'm recording, so I can really see I am recording into one track, but you'll also notice the smooth scrolling here. Uh, previous versions of Adobe Audition would jump 10 seconds ahead, 10 seconds ahead, always giving a blank buffer, but now we have this lovely smooth scroll which is particularly handy if we're doing punch and roll or if we're doing insertion of uh, voices to a specific area of a track. No more are you covering over the rest of the voice uh, with a 10 second buffer. It's all smooth and easy. So really good there, stop the recording. And there is my voice over recording. So this is all really good. We've covered the new look and feel of the multi-track in Adobe Audition CC 2019, the color scheme, uh, the fact that you can record really smoothly into tracks, the fact that you can non-destructively change the volume of any audio file in your multi-track really is good stuff. You can also zoom to a certain time. So say I want to go to the 30 second mark and I want to zoom to exactly two seconds around 30 seconds. Now using this new icon down here, zoom to time, I can say zoom to two seconds around that mark. There we go. And we have an exact two second duration zoom. I can make that a 
10 second duration zoom like so and you'll see 10 seconds around my mark is selected so a really really handy feature if i go right back to the beginning uh, for promo creation this is going to be brilliant i want to see the first 10 seconds of the promo boom the first 10 seconds of the promo easily highlighted so another really good um, kind of speed enhancing uh, thing that you'll get with adobe audition cc 2019 really really like it so lots of good stuff going on there uh, other improvements obviously under the hood to speed this up things like third-party plugins uh, moving your preferences over to uh, well the official name is adobe audition 12.0 but obviously cc 2019 is the name that you'll get at the top of your bar when you download this app uh, but I guess you really want to see the really cool new features using machine learning to improve the sound of your audio. It's now possible and it's amazing. Really, really amazing. Denoise and D-Reverb. Let's finish the review and tutorial with these excellent additions to Adobe Audition. So Denoise, well, here's a bit of a clip of me on the road. Let's listen. We are on the road right now. Poor Shanghai, and this is yeah. So you can clearly hear the road noise, the car noise there. But now, in effects, we have two new fantastic effects under noise reduction slash restoration. Denoise, de reverb. I'll go into these in more detail in separate tutorials, but I want to show them here in the review and tutorial of CC 2019. Denoise will do the job here, and let's make sure this is totally default. So default settings, unlike before, where you're having to capture noise prints and do all that kind of stuff. This is brand new tech, you're gonna love this. Let's play it back and flip on and off the noise reduction and hear how it sounds. Here we are on the road right now, heading to... Okay, I'm gonna click through a little bit more, play it back. They have experience center Switch this Los off. Angeles, Singapore, Shanghai, and this is on. the new center for the EMEA region. Off. Super excited to be bringing on. along this lady too. Okay, and let's listen to this as we increase the amount of denoise. Back in April of 2018, they have experience centers Los Angeles, Singapore, Shanghai, and this is the new Off. center for the EMEA region. Super On. excited to be bringing along this. And you see, it is simply a case of selecting the denoise effect and moving this slider. How much denoise do you want? 0%, 100%, pretty simple. Uh, again, if you want to increase the gain, you can increase the gain a bit as well. Like in April of 2018, they have experience centers in Los Angeles, Singapore, Shanghai, and this is the new center for the EMEA. Click apply and boom, you've removed quite a lot of noise. Is that waveform looks really clean, really good. You could probably add a bit of final compression, but wow, denoise, fantastic. Then you get into an echoey place and you hear, let's uh, just normalize this so it's nice and loud. You hear this echo around. Being the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. Right, let's try a bit of de-reverb on this. So again, noise reduction restoration, de-reverb, and let's play it back now just on the default settings. That being the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. That's with it on, that's with it off. That being the Soundcraft. Definitely hear some echo reduction. Then let's just push up the amount that we're doing it by, so 40% upwards. That being the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixing con Increase the gain, or we've got auto gain enabled, so that will do it for us, but we can of course switch that off and do it ourselves. That being the Soundcraft Signature that being the Soundcraft Signature 12 off. MTK mixing console, which On. I'm actually using right now and test. Apply and look at the difference there. I mean, really fantastic stuff from this. Two of my favorite pieces to this. That being the Soundcraft Signature. Two of my favorite pieces of equipment. That being the Soundcraft. So you go from being in a real echoey auditorium almost to um, pretty much sounding like you're in a studio. It's really cool stuff. So Adobe Audition CC 2019 with the brand new Denoise, D-Reverb, machine learning in action there, making your audio sound better, uh, taking the burden off you to tweak loads of controls, capture noise prints, and putting the burden on the machine uh, to do the work for you, which is fantastic. Improved, multi-track, better colors, pops out more, you can see what you're doing, you can really edit, you can change the colors, any color of the rainbow, you can record in, no more 10 second buffers, you can zoom to a time, you can add tracks at the click of the multi-track track menu, adding tracks, deleting empty tracks as well, all possible, very, very quick, very, very easy. A fantastic new update to Adobe Audition CC 2019. <laughs>